Let's begin with our bangs. Using the arch in our eyebrows as guidelines to help us trace right before we reach the crown, securing it into a bantana to keep it stretched and out of the way. Now working with the back, separating it into four equal sections, bantanating each side to keep it stretched. Working one section at a time, I use my index finger to help me grab a medium to large side section, separating the rest out of the way. Holding that section taut, I grab a dime size amount of my Camille Rose Naturals Aloe Whipped Butter Gel, applying it first to my ends and working all the way up. Once it's fully coated, I hold that section taut yet again and grab my flexi rod and begin to twirl my hair around the rod. Once I have just about an inch left, I grab a little bit more product and coat my my ends and then continue to roll my hair around the rod but this time in the same spot. To close the roller I pinch it and doing the same thing at the top folding it over allowing both ends to meet. Essentially this is my flexi rod set technique and you can click this link right here and it'll direct you. Grabbing the remainder of that section, I split it into two equal parts and continue the same technique. Grabbing one section and applying my aloe whipped butter gel before grabbing my roller and rolling my hair around the roller. And once I have just about an inch left, I coat it with a little bit more product and continue rolling with this time in only the same place, pinching it to close at the bottom and allowing the ends to meet at the top. I finish up that section with three flexi rods doing the same to the other side for a total of six. Moving on to the front, we're going to separate this into three equal parts on both sides following the same technique. 12 flexi rods later, it's time to work on the bangs. Begin by parting your bang down the middle, separating it into two equal parts. Separating a small size section from each side of the part, combining them together, creating a third section out of the three sections that our bang will need. Sweet, we're going to continue the technique but spritzing our hair with a little bit of water, then applying our styler and rolling our hair around the flexi rod. The only alterations is right at the top. After we applied our product, split the hair into two sections and begin to two strand twist it about two to three times before holding it taut at the root and sliding our fingers down it to smooth out the hair before we apply our flexi rod, rolling our hair around the roller. Now with a total of 15 flexi rods, you can satin scarf and bed or hood it dryer until dry. And after 30 minutes under the dryer, it's time for the takedown. Let's begin by grabbing a flexi rod, rolling it down and twirling it in the opposite way and the curls pop right out. Now let's separate. Grab one of your curls and begin to slowly run your fingers down it until your hair separates where it naturally wants to separate. For this style, I separate as much as possible, leaving the bangs for last. Focusing on the back, begin to push the hair forward all the way to the top, allowing it to sit on your crown. Securing it with the hair tie, looping it about two times over, creating the dopest ponytail ever. Next, grab some pins and fluff your hair out a little bit. Then, using the palm of your hands, you're going to begin to smooth your hair to the other side and pinning it into place. We're going to continue doing this all around our bun into a circular motion to keep the texture of our curls but create the form of a bun. Grab any curls that got away, smooth it in, and pin it into place, creating the perfect curly bun. Moving on to the bangs is really simple. Just begin to separate the curls as careful as possible to reduce frizz. Separate as much as you feel needed. The more you separate, the more fuller your bangs will be. Lastly, grab your favorite edge control, slick back your edges, and we're all done. <laughs> this video and give it a try if you did please don't be shy to like comment and subscribe follow me on instagram facebook and twitter tag me in your photos if you do and never forget to live and love with you